Okay, so let me uh, tell you a little bit what you need to review before the final exam. Let me start with some good news. There's no ISLM VP model on the exam, neither in a linear version or uh, in uh, uh, in the general form uh, form with implicit functions. So I think the hardest thing you would have to learn is gone. Secondly, on the final exam, we're not going to have Tyler and McLaurin series. We're gonna use it uh, next summer, uh, next semester. Look, I understand that this semester was tough and weird. So I'm gonna tell you quite specifically what you need to prepare for the exam and just try to do your best. Okay. So, look, uh, you see what you need to uh, learn basically on this list. So, li linear version of market model, model with one good, remember to also do model with two goods, how to find solutions using matrix algebra, comparative static derivatives. So remember, those are derivatives of equilibrium solutions with respect to some parameters interpretations this is very important and graphs all of this you will find actually everything you've got here you can find in the notes uh, that I've provided you uh, most of it because we started with I think linear ISLM model uh, here and we didn't cover input and we covered input output model uh, in the uh, uh, at the very beginning, but everything else you can find on YouTube. You have all the notes. Okay, then there is the same thing about linear ISLM model, finding the solution, finding comparative static derivatives, interpretations, remember fiscal, monetary policy effects, graphs. Then Leontief input output model, Remember also about the interpretations of the coefficients of the input matrix. Or then how to get the Leontief matrix, how to find the solution, how to find comparative static derivatives. And co remember, comparative static derivatives are in Leontief matrix. All of this we discussed during the class. Oh, and remember, all of these subjects are covered in length in your uh, textbooks. In Chiang, you can find them all there. Uh, okay, then market model with general functions. So, I will you you will be asked to solve some problem with let's just say where you need to uh, you have a market model and you need to calculate some comparative static derivatives. So you need to use implicit function rule, calculate comparative static derivatives, give them an interpretation, make the graph, and then. The same for ISLM model with general function. Use implicit function rule, put everything in matrix algebra, calculate comparative static derivatives, graphs, interpretations. Then everything about cost function, that was like really short, so I think uh, you will not have any problems uh, dealing with this one. And customer's choice theory. So the, the, the newest addition, uh, uh, newest edition uh, 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 from this you definitely need to know how to solve a problem where you have given some uh, uh, some utility function budget uh, prices of factors and interpretations all of that that I've been talking about during the videos okay if I remember correctly, you have like five or six exercises to do. Five, I think. Yeah, five exercises, 90 minutes to do it. And there is, believe me, this is way more time than you actually need. Okay, if you have any other uh, questions, you can ask them here in comment sections or preferably on our Facebook group. And then, on a Facebook group, we're going to set up what is going to be the date of your exam because the date there's in the system, it's too soon.
it's definitely too soon so we need to postpone it okay take care and good luck on the exam bye